is going to be the first video of my art segment in my channel. I'm going to be doing a unboxing and demo on this epoxy resin by Foxy Epoxy. I got this on Amazon for about, I forget, all the info is below. You can pretty much do a lot of different arts and crafts with this. You can make jewelry, you can use it as a gloss for your paint, a top coat, you can make just about anything that, not just about anything, but anything that has a mold, um, big or small. I have seen really big epoxy pieces, but in today's video I'm going to be using it to coat an art piece that I have. I'm going to be demoing it, I'm going to tell you my review. Um, hopefully it works great. It says that it hardens like glass and all that good stuff. So we're going to be the judge of that. I started by unboxing it and it comes with just about everything you need for a successful core or project. It has four measuring cups and one set of gloves. The resin, of course, labeled as A. And the hardener, labeled as B. In addition to the user manual, and as well as some mica colored powder. I knew it came with them, but it actually was way more than I anticipated. And last but not least, it came with a couple sticks that you can use to mix your product. So now taking the measuring cup, I am going to pour the same amount of resin and hardener. The box states that it's a one-to-one -one ratio, so I poured just about four ounces of resin and another four ounces of the hardener. And if you notice how clear that the hardener is compared to the resin, I will note that the resin was a bit grainy. Not sure if you guys could tell in the video, but it was a lot thicker than the hardener. It may be the formula, but nonetheless, I did take my stick and stir it for about seven minutes or so until it became clear, but it actually never got to a completely clear state. You'll see in a moment. Again, that's the one-to-one -one ratio. And I stir it. The instruction manual told me to stir it for about seven minutes. Um, don't stir too hard. Don't stir too fast. You don't want the bubbles in it. And I speed it up a bit here. My hand was starting to cramp up. Again, it never got to that clear, transparent color. But again, I did not want to over mix it. I mixed it for about 10 minutes. But then I decided to just go ahead and pour it onto my piece. And I hoped for the best. So I took my mixture and I began to pour it. The piece is already dry, just FYI. I definitely advise using it on your dry pieces. If you're gonna use it on a painting, I just use the stick that it came with to spread it out. Um, I do typically use another technique. I usually typically use a spatula, but I just thought I'd try something new today. It spread pretty easily, 
I didn't have any issues really with the texture while coating my canvas piece. I only wish that I used more. This was a two piece set and while I was able to coat everything, I still wish that I would have had a bit more because there were areas that became a bit splotchy when dry. And I also hope that it would self-level, which it kind of did, but again, I wish I used a bit more. Also, I do sell my canvas pieces on our website, artechhomes.net slash store. Check it out, also available on Etsy. But all in all, it did harden quite perfectly. I didn't get any like sticky areas or anything like that. And I do hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have tried this product, if you plan on trying this product. Let me know if you've used this product, what your end result was like. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys very soon.